For more than three years now, the small boats crisis has been growing in intensity. This year already, more than 15,000 people have crossed the channel and been processed in makeshift reception centres at Dover Harbour. The Chief Inspector of Borders and Immigration claims that process has been inefficient and ineffective. David Neal says that for too long the Home Office has continued to treat the problem of small boat crossings as a crisis rather than an ongoing day-to-day -day issue that should be managed and staffed accordingly. Although he praised the work of individual Border Force officers dealing with at times unmanageable numbers, he was critical of the management of the processing system which meant that staff dealing with many of those arriving in Dover often failed to record all the necessary details of an individual, such as biometric details like fingerprints and photographs. The Chief Inspector of Borders revealed that 227 asylum seekers had disappeared from secure hotel accommodation in the four months to January this year. They haven't been found, and authorities did not have biometric details for many of them. In fact, over one five-week period, when 57 asylum seekers ran off, Border Force didn't have fingerprints or photographs for two-thirds of them. The Home Office said that since David Neal's inspection, new processing facilities have come on stream that those arriving in Dover and elsewhere are much more efficiently processed. However, Shadow Home Secretary Yvette Cooper said she was sceptical of those Home Office claims, especially as the inspector's report was released on the final day of Parliament, giving MPs no time to question officials on any improvements they claim to have made. Mark White, GB News.